Not too many quads drive across country solo. First of all, it's not easy. You're, when you're a quad, a lot of travel is a lot more daunting, especially when you're going alone. Well, you want to go back far enough, it's, I've been injured 35 years. When I was in the rehab, the main thing I wanted to do was to figure, you know, know I could hunt and fish again, because the outdoors were, that was, that was my life, you know, something, I, I could give up anything else, I wasn't going to give that up. I've been waiting for something like the coyote to show up. We're in the disabled hunting community or outdoor community, we're, and we're, we're going to change that to able hunting community now. Some things, some products are a small step. This is this is more of a big leap. If something like that works the first time, everything else you do is just going to get it better and better and better. I'll tell you one of my pet peeves for watching outdoor shows and they'll have somebody with a disability on. They, they don't show anything about how they got to where they were going. So they didn't show anything. They didn't show any of the equipment they used, nothing. That's my addition. That's my addition to the invention process right there. Can't get it in this angle. It's tough. It's a tough transfer. Voila! Anything, hey, how you doing? That people do on foot can go a long way. Very difficult to do in a, in a regular chair. Easy door, I like easy door. You miss so much. For, you don't get giant leaps very often. So this is gonna be one of them. You know you're onto something when you kind of light up. You know, you can tell when something special. This is one of those things. And we're just getting started. We're gonna catch some fish today, boys. Thank you.